everyone talking about stable diffusion IP adopter being best realistic swap tool ever and posting videos about it. A lot of my subscribers want to try it but I know the result just for you guys I am making this video. Well let's get started and see how realistic is its result. To use IP adopter you need stable diffusion. You can watch my video about how to install stable diffusion. Video link is in my description. You also need in painting model. You can use any in painting model you like. If you don't got IP adopter installed you can install it by going to extensions and then available. Click on load from when a list of extensions load type IP adopter and install it. After installing go to installed option and restart your WebWi. To use it go to image to image option. Then choose in paint option. Upload picture you want to swap face of. Carefully draw on face with brush option. Go to ControlNet extension option. Enable first ControlNet unit. Then choose IP adopter. Choose face ID models from model and processor. If you got low RAM you can choose low RAM option and choose pixel perfect. Also choose option of upload independent control image. Upload face image you want to use. Click on allow preview and run processor. Make sure you choose same resolution. Choose ending control step let's start with 0 0.8. After everything set you need LCM Face ID LoRa. You can download it from link in my description. You don't need to type prompt. Just click on generate. Well this is best result you can generate from IP adopter no matter what setting and weights and LoRas you will experiment. Even using Face ID plus you won't find any different result. Even worst face swap tool can swap face better than IP adopter. I hope you guys won't waste time in this long process to swap a picture face. If you got any question or request comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Take care.